Today we will be performing a neurological examination on our patient here. Sigma M, this patient here, her name is Yukiko, or also known for Yuki. She is a female, still intact. Her breed is an American short hair mix. She, in age, is about a year and nine months, born in June 2016. Starting off, we will be performing with the initial observations with our patient here, Yuki. And as you know for the history, um, there was no history of seizures. Her mentation here is normal. No signs of circling or pacing. And as we check along and focus on her head here, we can see there's no signs of head tilts, no, pa uh, no head pressings or tremors either. Alright, so the first test that we are going to be evaluating performing will be testing Yuki's olfactory nerves, in which we will be simply seeing if Yuki has the ability to find a little treat seizing her sense of smell. And so I'm going to give her some treats and you can as already see, she already knows where it is. So the next test we're going to be doing is basically seeing the accuracy of Yuki's vision using the menace response. What this response will be done uh, done to check if Yuki's capability to blink when she feels threatened in a way or near the areas of her eyes. So what I'm gonna do is basically blow towards her eyes to see if she blinks. For this one, we're gonna be checking for ocular motor nerves. We're gonna be using the direct uh, pupil light reflex and also testing for pupil size using a small flashlight. So we're gonna test it on her right side. Check. Okay. Now that's up. And so as you can see, testing both sides, it is both dilating. So for this exercise here, we're gonna be testing for Yuki's muscle tone uh, in her jaw. What should happen here is that I'll be trying to open her jaw as wide as I can and she should be able to resist. So I'm gonna try to open it. All right. So with her jaw muscle tone, it's pretty normal. And for this one, we're gonna be testing for a palpable reflex. For this one, this exercise is going to consist of me lightly tapping on our median canthus, so which is in the inner sides of our eyelids, and they should result, uh, result to a blinking motion. Okay. Going to try the right side. Then, okay. Then we're going to do her left side. Okay. So both, uh, yeah, both of her eyes are pretty normal. So for this next one, we're going to be checking for our evaluation of gait, which is by means of our just uh, walking. Yuki! Yuki! As you can see, it's normal. And she's looking for food. There's no signs of any motions of injuries. So for this next test, we'll be testing her postural reactions. We're going to be doing a wheelbarrow motion, testing her first, her thorax limbs. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she went to the food. <laughs> All right. Next, we're also going to check her pelvic limbs. <laughs> All right. Testing these, these limbs are a sign of normal. So the next test that we'll be doing is hopping. We'll be testing each limb to see if there's functional and see if she has any missteps. Okay, so what we're gonna test first is the left uh, left side 
of her thoracic limbs. And we're gonna take all three lifts and see if she hops. Oh, okay. Next one would be the right side of thoracic limbs. And we're gonna lift. Next side, we're gonna be doing her right thoracic, I'm sorry. Next, we're gonna be doing her, th her right side of her pelvic limbs. And all of them seem to be functional and no signs of hurt, injuries, or etc. This one we're going to be testing for conscious per perception, where we're going to test if Yuki knows where her body parts and spaces. We're going to do the exercise called knuckling on each limb, starting with the right thoracic limb. Just see if she was able to put her paw back into position. Next one is going to be left side of her thoracic lip. Okay. So also we can see here, we're going to be looking just to see if Yuki has any neck or back pains while she's going to be eating. So we're just going to feel around and see if she reacts in a certain way. And as you can see, she's still functioning correct, correctly and pretty normal. And then again, as you can see, it's still regular motion in her neck. Doesn't feel it. No signs of wincing or pain shown anywhere. 